सिर्फ इन्वेस्ट ही करूंगी तो जीऊंगी कब जब देखो जहां देखो इन्वेस्ट करो अच्छा रिटर्न मिलेगा रिटायरमेंट में काम आएगा टैक्स सेविंग होगी नहीं करना भी है इन्वेस्ट हेलो एंड वेलकम आई एम प्रार्थना फ्रॉम क्लियर आर यू आल्सो क्लूलेस ऑन हाउ टू सेव इनकम टैक्स विदाउट एनी इन्वेस्टमेंट्स नॉट एनी मोर बिकॉज़ इन टुडेस वीडियो वी बिगिन विद द सेकंड एपिसोड ऑफ क्लूलेस अप टू क्लियर In this video, I will give you tips on how you can save tax without making any additional investment. Do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get notified. If you are a salaried person and are living in a rented house, then you can save tax on the rent paid to the landlord. Check if your salary structure has HRA, that is house rent allowance components in it. If yes, then you can claim HRA exemption. To calculate the exemption, I am going to use the HRA calculator. You can find the link to it in the description, and it's completely free. From your CTC, find these components and enter the annual value for basic salary, dearness allowance, HRA component, and the rent you paid. If the rented house is in Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, or Chennai, then click yes. Otherwise, select no. Once done, click calculate. You will now see the amount of HRA that is exempt from tax and also the taxable portion. Section 80D allows you to claim deductions against premiums paid towards health insurance policies for self, spouse, dependent, children, and dependent parents. You should absolutely buy health insurance for everyone in your family. But even if you don't, you can claim a tax deduction of up to rupees fifty thousand for the money paid towards their medical expenses for you or your parents aged sixty years or above. Just make sure to pay them through online mode. Another tax saving idea which does not require investments is claiming the deduction for interest paid on the education loan taken from financial institution. Section 80E allows this deduction from the gross total income thereby reducing your taxable income. The loan should be taken for higher education that is any course after passing the senior secondary examination or equivalent in India or abroad. You can avail of it for 8 consecutive years beginning from the year you start paying the interest. The education loan for which deduction is allowed can be taken for the education of self, spouse, children or a student for whom you are a legal guardian. Taking a housing loan is one of the best ways to save tax. It provides several deductions. Ordinarily, you will get deduction up to rupees one point five lakh on home loan principal repayment under Section eighty C, and up to rupees two lakh on the interest repayment under Section twenty four B. Under eighty C, you have the option of repaying the principal and earn exemptions up to rupees one point five lakh, and thus avoid having to buy more tax savings. Based on the property you have bought, the amount you are borrowing, and the year of your loan sanction, you may be eligible for further tax deduction of rupees fifty thousand under Section eighty double E or rupees one point five lakh under Section eighty double E on your interest repayment. Expenses related to children's education consume a major portion of our spendings. Hence, it makes a lot of sense to maximize the tax benefits associated with these costs. Parents can claim a tax deduction of up to rupees one point five lakh under Section eighty C for the tuition fee paid for the children's education. Do note that this benefit applies to any full time education plan imparted at any registered institution like schools, colleges, and even preschools and nurseries. However, this applies for the tuition fee paid for up to two children per taxpayer. Also, this benefit only applies to the tuition fee and not other payments like development fees, late payment fees, etc. Also, if your employer provides children education allowance and hostel expenses allowance, you can avail tax exemption on such allowances up to rupees twelve hundred per annum and rupees thirty six hundred per annum respectively for up to two children. Is it clear? I hope this video will help you in better tax planning. To get more such simplified tax and finance tips, subscribe to both our channels, Clear and Black by Clear Tax. If you have more questions related to ITR filing, leave us a comment below. We'll get back to you shortly. Next time, someone asks you to make investments for saving taxes. Share this video.